uh, right now the ship is still here. It normally would have left weeks ago, but because of lack of payment, the ship's been arrested because the owners didn't pay the bills. The average seafarer, the OS, which is the ordinary seaman, or an AB, which is uh, an able-bodied seaman, has normal contracts of up to nine months away from home, and that can be extended in a whim uh, up to 12 or 14 months without a problem. They aren't in touch with their homes. They can't, they can't get off ship and just go back home and visit for a couple of days. They are on board this little island of community for nine months to 12 months. These people are away from home, and if they have ports where they dock for cargo discharge or uh, loading, like Nigeria, for instance, they can't get off a ship. They're not only stuck on board for the, the length of the voyage, say six to eight weeks, they may be on board for months. I mean, that's staying on a deck, even though they've been at land. And in this country, if they come from a country, uh, their last port of call is in a country which is in distress or in a difficult relationship with the United States, then CBP or Customs will keep them on board ship or detain them. Even though they might have a visa, they can't go ashore. Our responsibility to them is to minister to their 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 life, um, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Did you still want the USBs? Uh, Even though you're going to be, how long are you going to be in Anchorage? We are going to stay in Anchorage for about five days. Yeah. So or, do you or still, more than five days. So do you want the USBs for the internet? Yes, of course. It will be very glad to have it. Uh, right, then I'll take them back. Have up. no touch with home. While they're at sea, they have no phone connection so they can't dial up mom, they can't dial up the kids. So, uh, the service is uh, very helpful for the seamen, especially during the Easter and the Christmas period. They're going to Anchorage, which means they're not going to be at a dock. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to be out in the, out in the channel. And so uh, to get from shore base into the, do into the ship, you have to have a uh, charter or launch. And so therefore, you usually have to go to the pilots or whatever, and that, that becomes a, a cost. When they're docked, we can drive up to the ship. Big difference. Mm -hmm. So uh, whenever a ship is at anchorage, we usually we don't have, have the ability financially <laughs> to go. So smoothly was this uh, financial problem, which is yeah. have it. And, uh, mm -hmm. Because I have also some of the who are uh, expecting their uh, leave and the next Exactly. Is the crew getting paid? Yes. Very good. That's good. Until the last month. So yeah, all they're, they're good shit. Joe Schmo or Jill Jane or whatever we want to call them out on the street. When they come in contact with these men and see what they have to go through, how hard their daily work is, how 18 hour days is nothing for them aboard ship, suddenly you start realizing just how intense this whole thing is. And it's a ministry to the world. You don't have to go to Africa. It's in your backyard. And just working through their struggles, uh, experiencing their joys and their frustrations, laughing with them, crying with them, praying with them, celebrating Mass with them. These are all things that, that make it a joy, and it's every day. It's not just once, it's not just occasional. Every day you run into something neat, something different and exciting, just seeing them and sharing things with them.